Welcome to this video about using GMDE. And today we're going to concentrate on files in GMDE. GMDE can manage a dizzying array of different file types and formats and so on. And especially for the new user, it can be somewhat confusing. So in this presentation, which will mostly be done with presentation software and not in GMDE itself, I'm going to try to give you an outline of what the different files are, how and where to use them, and finish up with a workflow for creating a new project in GMDE. So before we start with the details, we need to remember but golden rules for files in GMDE. First of all, keep all your files related to a particular project inside a single project folder. As you'll see, the GMDE binary file can only find map and DEM files that are in the same folder that it is stored in. And so you want to keep everything together. And secondly, it should go without saying, save frequently. All right, different file types in GMDE. We have map files. Map files are, of course, used for the base map. Secondly, we have digital elevation model or DEM files, and we'll go over some of the details of those. Third, you may have a photos database associated with your project, uh, especially if you've taken photos in GMDE mobile and want to visualize them on the desktop, or if you want to add photos uh, directly from the desktop. Fourth, we have text files for data exchange and archiving, and we'll go over the, their uses. And finally, we have the GMDE binary file. Now we're going to go over each one of these individually, starting with map files. Map files can be one of two types, either raster images, that is JPEG, TIFFs, PNGs, or even PDFs, um, and only the desktop version of GMDE can read uh, desktop, or excuse me, raster images. And raster images require georeferencing in GMDE itself. So that adds an extra step. Alternatively, you can use an MB tiles file. An MB tiles file is a specialized type of SQLite database uh, that has uh, where we have divided the map up into tiles of different resolution for different images. A standard MB tiles file for a seven and a half minute quadrangle can have uh, in excess of 10 to 15,000 individual tiles in the database. MB tiles can be used on either desktop and they're the only base map type that can be used in GMDE mobile. They are already georeferenced uh, and use the WGS84 datum uh, so you don't need to do anything about them. And if you're interested in producing MB tiles, uh, you need to use a separate program to create the MB tiles file. Uh, standard GIS programs like ArcGIS, Global Mapper can do it. QGIS, a freeware uh, GIS program, can make MB tiles. Uh, and there's a dedicated map tiler program uh, available for Windows and Mac called map tiler. All right, digital elevation model files. GMDE can read three different types of digital elevation files. It can read an ASCII grid file, which is a type of text file, and only the desktop version can. These files are very large and slow, so don't use them unless you can help it. Two binary file formats that can be read are grid float or band interleaved format. 
The main grid float file has a suffix .flt, uh, and it is accompanied by an .hdr and a .prj, or header and project file. All three files have to be present for GMDE to correctly interpret the digital elevation model file. The band interleave format uh, binary file has a .bil suffix, and it also has a .hdr and .prj. And again, all three of these files have to be present and have to have exactly the same root name if you're going to use them. Now, both grid float and bill uh, are binary files, so GMDE does not have to read all of the data into memory. Instead, it can go directly to the correct spot within the binary file and pluck out the uh, correct elevation for the uh, uh, coordinates that you send it. So they're very fast and also very efficient in terms of memory. Now you may have a photos database uh, if you've taken photos. Uh, this is a custom SQLite database that stores all of the photos and the metadata for the photos for a particular project. A project can have only one photos database. The photos can be either taken by the iPad camera itself, if you're in GMDE Mobile, or imported from the user's photo library, uh, if you're on either mobile or desktop. Import on the desktop is via drag and drop. You can drag the photo directly from your photos library or from the file on the desktop uh, onto a special window that will appear in GMDE binary or GMDE desktop to add the photo to the uh, database. Those taken by the iPad will have the look azimuth of the photo recorded in the metadata. Now, the photos database must be created either by GMDE Mobile or GMDE Desktop so that it has the correct format that both programs expect to find. And finally, the file name must be xxxx photos.sqlite, photos.sqlite where XXXX is the name of the project and can be anything that you want. The important point is that it must end in photos.sqlite. Okay, text files are used both for exchange and for data archiving. GMDE Mobile saves contacts, orientations, and POIs as text files. Uh, and those text files can be read by GMDE Desktop. GMDE Desktop exports text files for all data types and can import those same files as well as those written by GMDE Mobile. And File Exchange via the system clipboard uses the same text format. Finally, the one file to rule them all, and this is the GMDE binary file, which is available on the desktop only. The binary file holds all of the data created within GMDE desktop. Uh, it holds the con all the contacts, POIs, topo profiles, orientations, thicknesses, piercing points, etc. It also contains the locations of the map and DEM and photos database if necessary, but it does not store those data itself. Those data continue to live in the files which are external to the data. For this reason, the locations are stored relative to the project folder itself. You do not need to export text files as all your data is stored in the binary file. However, I would encourage you to archive your data in text file format, which will always be available. And if at some point in the hopefully distant future, GMDE no longer exists, you'll still be able to access your precious data. 
You can launch GMDE Desktop simply by double-clicking on a GMDE binary file. And when you save a binary file, it is automatically added to the Recents File submenu of the File menu for rapid access later on. So let me go over briefly a new project workflow. You would launch, first you'd launch GMDE Desktop and a blank window would appear. Second, you would select File, Open Map, and choose either a raster image, a scanned image, satellite image, hillshade, etc. Then, if you're using the raster image, you would need to georeference the image, which is the subject of another uh, screencast. And you would need to specify the datum or set the datum offset for the raster image. Alternatively, the map file can be an MB tiles file, which is already georeferenced, and all MB tiles files use the WGS84 datum. Then you would select File, Read ASCII Grid Float DEM, and choose the FLT, BLI, or ASC uh, file to read in the DEM. This step is optional because, of course, GMDE can use Internet Elevation servers to get elevations automatically. However, if you read in a DEM file, then it will be much faster, uh, and certain operations are only possible if you read in a DEM file. Next, you'll probably want to save uh, the file uh, or say, select Save, Save As, and specify your project uh, as a G dot G D GMDE binary file. Uh, once you have done this, uh, then subsequently, whenever you add new data, you can just choose File Save or Command or Control S, uh, depending upon your system to save uh, all of the new data that you've added. Again, save it in the same folder or directory as the map, DEM, and photos database files. Now you're ready to add data. You can either create data in the program, you can import text files from GMDE Mobile or other GMDE desktop users, and you can drag photos in from your photos library and finally save again and again and again that's it i hope that helps